A special thanks to Rolling Arista Suchi for allowing me to film this car. Information is provided down below. Hello there, this is a full depth full of the 2024 Rolling Bingo EV to an exterior, powertrain and interior. For exterior colour, black for the top half and the main colour is galaxy blue. Chroma highlights and the door handles. This comes with keyless entry as standard. I cannot demonstrate it to you because the key is tied somewhere in the vehicle. The front seat headrests are fixed. Black and beige leather seats with beige stitching on it. Two spoke level wrap multifunctional steering wheel with perforations on the side and selfie trim on the spoke and the horn. By the way, there's no starter button to put on the vehicle power. To put on the vehicle power you have to press on the brake and all the system power comes on. For transmission, this comes with a single speed automatic control via this rotary selector. When placed to climb reverse, there's a reversing camera along with rear parking sensors. This comes with an electronic parking brake with the auto hold feature. Drive mode selector. Now let's take a look at exterior. Turn on the headlights. And roll down the driver's side window. For the wheels, this has 15 inch steel rims along with door turn plastic covers wrapped in. Remax HP 180560R15 tyres. In February 2023, Willing unveiled the subcompact or B segment 5 door hatchback called the Bingo EV, with sales started next month in China. The name Bingo used to express happiness and satisfaction also derived from two Mandarin terms. When combined, it means many results. Speaking of platform, the Bingo is based on the SGMW Global Small Electric Vehicle Platform, made for small electric cars like the Air EV and the Hangoa Mini EV. Bingo made its Indie debut on last November the 16th, on the first day, where sales began their next month. Indonesia was the first country for the Bingo's white hand drive debut, and the first country outside China to locally assemble the Bingo. In Indonesia, the Bingo comes in two variants, both have exactly the same features. For the design, the Bingo exterior is round and full of curves. This is what I call cute. In Indonesia, the bingo comes in three attractive colours. Good news, there's no option of black or white. For the front, an EV means the grill's not needed. There are one LED projector headlights with x shaped LED DLLs and thin chrome pieces placed at the bottom for the front, side and rear. For the side, one neat touch is a horizontal chrome piece which separates the door tone colour in half. There is one thing to point out, is the rear quarter piece is blacked out. Around the rear, there are one LED rear lights with an egg shaped inside them, red reflectors housed inside the chrome piece, a low mounted reverse light and the odd location of the third brake light on the bottom of the rear window hatch. One thing missing is a rear wiper. Bingo! Is this your lucky day? Let me explain first what is happening here. After more than one successful year with the Air EV, 
Willing decided to bring the bingo here. The bingo has been widely accepted by consumers as an affordable small electric car with interior functionality. Over 3,400 units had been sold, surpassing the 3,000 pre-order bookings. It has become the best-selling EV and the best-selling car in its class. The bingo is the solution to fiat space in traffic jams and minimise pollution in Indonesia. I dislike the fact that the bingo loses out on the wind command feature and the connected IOV package. I think it is a cost cutting measure and to make up it comes with a few certain features not found in the Air EV. Unlike the Air EV, the bingo adds rear doors and a usable boot. This means the bingo can carry both rear passengers and their luggage at the same time. Trains. The bingo is available with three electric powertrain options globally. Indonesia receives two of them. Powering the bingo premium range is a single electric motor located up front. The electric motor produces 67 horsepower and 150 Nm of torque. The car's battery is lithium ferrophosphate with an IP67 waterproof and dust rating at a capacity of 37.9 kilowatts per hour. For performance figures, it has a maximum speed of 130 km per hour or 81 miles per hour. The estimated charging time from 30 to 80% for a direct DC type takes 35 minutes. The Bingo has zero emissions and this variant has an electric range of 410 km or 255 miles. This comes with a lifetime warranty for the core EV components and the Bingo is a front wheel drive car. The front doors are made out of car plastics but the middle section has leather materials along with this beige panel. For electric window controls, the driver's side window is automatic in both directions, up and down, window lock, central locking. A decent sized door pocket for the front doors. To the white of the steering wheel column, electric mirror controls, switch to adjust the level of the headlights, the button to activate the traction control. I think this button is to turn off the, I'm not sure what this button does, on it release, automatic transmission door pedals. The driver's seat has good power adjustments for climb, sliding and seat height, six-way power adjustments. The steering wheel has manual tilt only adjustment. Adjust it using the lever down here. On the steering wheel, the right star is for the light and indicator controls. The right spoke, volume, seat trap, Bluetooth accept core, star button. Left star for the wiper controls, intermittent wipers. The left spoke, these buttons control, I think for the cruise control and the MRD. These buttons control the four digital instrument cluster. On the left is a trick computer, on the right digital speedometer. Along with the range. This comes with manual aircon controls. In the middle is the fan speed along with the recirculation button. On the left is the temperature along with the AC button. On the right is the different zones along with the front defrost button. 
it also displays on the touch screen. your options there, front and rear defrost, on off, AC with circulation, temperature on the left, fan speed on the right, and different zones on top. For entertainment, this comes with a 10 and a quarter inch touchscreen, which has a few media sources and sound is provided by four speakers. Let's test out sound quality. This, the sound quality sounds good enough. I had to turn it off before I get copyright. On the right side is the list of safe presets FM AM, seat track, play pause, search. On the right side is the touch screen, M music menu, radio menu. AC menu, phone menu, and the main menu. The home page with widgets. Music menu. Phone menu. AC menu as shown before. Video menu allows to watch videos via USB device. Settings menu for Bluetooth, sound, display, and system. Vehicle controls menu for windows, lights, driving, and others. I think that's it for the touchscreen. Without the Internet of Vehicle package, the touchscreen is still responsive and has the focus essentials for phone and media. Down below, two hooks, two USB inputs for media and for charging, a flat fork, exposed small bit of storage, behind the gear selector and the parking brake, Two cup holders. There's no front armrest on this one, unfortunately. Here's the key fob, keyless type. Manually adjustable rear view mirror. LED front reading lamp, front reading light, and has a light switch. No front grip handles. To summarize the Willing Bingo's interior, Willing was creative when designing the interior for the Bingo. I like the door screens and the beige panels. However, what I don't like is there's no physical buttons for the touch screen. The seats are very comfortable and quite supportive. On the dashboard, there is hard plastic and leather materials. Now let's check out the rear seats. The rear doors have exactly the same materials as the front doors. Small door pocket for the rear doors. The rear seats do fold down. They split 50-50, which I'll show you later on. I also reach our seat anchor points on the rear seats. Now let's check out rear seat space. For rear seat space, I'm a short person. The front seat is set far forward. I've got plenty of leg room. And I have 
a generous male who had room. I believe tall people, six footers, may be fine back in terms of rear seat space, front seat, back pockets, and the rear seats. Cup holder storage shared between the front and rear occupants, flat floor. Rear grip handles. Now let's check out the boot. To open the boot, there's a touch pad in the number plate housing. The boot is of a great size for this class. On the left is the boot light, dual containers, the left container, and the white container, which contains the vehicle manual, warning triangle, and the charging kits. These two containers can be removed both. The rear seats do fall down if you need extra space. The seat has manual adjustments, recline, and the bar for sliding. I think this comes with four airbags as standard. Glove box, which is our small size. This is the end of the video now. Like this video, comment down below, subscribe if you're interested and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you're led to whenever I upload a new video in the future.